and welcome back to the York City Auditorium. Thank you once again for joining us for this first round day of the Crossroads Conference Volleyball Tournament 2024. All right, your number one seeded BDS Eagles are taking the court right now. Uh, they will be taking on Shelby Rising City, who defeated Hampton earlier today and earned the right to take on the number one seed. So they're taking the court already, and we're getting ready to get this fired off here. We've got one more game coming up here in a little bit. Uh, High Plains will be taking on Nebraska Lutheran. Then it'll be a little bit of a break, and then we'll conclude with four more matches coming up this late afternoon and evening. But we're ready to get this one started here. Serving it will be Campbell Bowling for BDS. Thank you for tuning in to Strive TV. And Bowling launches that one over. That's a tough serve. And it uh, was able to be pushed over by Shelby Rising City, but they weren't able to set up their offense. BDS was. They got a kill right in the middle there to start things off. One to nothing is your score. Your number one seeded Eagles taking on Shelby Rising City. The quick one to nothing lead. Once again, it is Campbell Bowling back there to serve. Punches that one deep. Tough receive there. They free ball it back over to BDS. BDS sets up their offense. Gets a kill down. That was... Kinsley Bowling there. So the serve by Campbell Bowling, the kill by Kinsley Bowling, and it's a two nothing lead here for BDS. Thank you for joining us on Strive TV today. We've got a slate of eight games today. This would be the third of those eight. Served by Bowling, received. Set, punched over, punched into the net actually there by Ruth. Ruth hit that one in the net, and we have a 3-0 score. Quick for BDS taking the lead over Shelby Rising City, who won the right to be here by beating Hampton earlier this morning in a three-set thriller. All right, BDS bowling with the serve again. Short middle set for Shelby Rising City. It rolls down the net. Shelby Rising City gets it back. It was Ruth who was able to get it over, and... BDS has to scramble and free ball it. And now a little push over by the setter by Shelby Rising City. We have a kill by Kinsley Bowling. Hit into a block, but off the block. She tooled it perfectly. And that is a point for BDS. So it is now four to nothing, the Eagles. And Campbell Bowling back there to serve once again. Up and over, this one off to the right side. It is received, set, and that is a kill for Ruth. Kaylee Ruth gets that one down. Five, five sophomore, number three for the Huskies. She's able to get that one down. Pinio comes up next on the service line, trailing four to one. Four to one score, BDS early in set number one. Remember, our first round is two out of three. BDS receives the serve, sets up their offense. And number 23, Haley Sliva is able to hammer that one down on the right side. Five to one is your score out there to serve. It is Peyton Domeyer, your libero. She is a senior for BDS. She gets the serve over. It's received, it's set, and that is once again, oops, I thought, I thought that was Ruth, but that was actually Kendall Nicolite was able to get it over. BDS just sends it back, and we have a free ball from Shelby Rising City, back set, Sliva hammers it down, but it is received by the Huskies, and they're able to get it back over. A kill attempt by Ruth. All right. BDS is able to get it back in the hands of Kinsley Bowling, who hammers that one again into a block, but she tools the block and gets the point. Six to one is the score. Doe Meyer back to serve once again. Shelby Rising City picks it up. Quick back set. That was Ruth with the attack, but it is picked up. Sliva dinks it over. Shelby Rising City overpasses it. Sorry, not overpasses it, free balls it. Different things. That is another kill for the Eagles, and it is now 7-0. Doe Meyer 
Going back to serve once again. Ooh, a little arching shot there. Caught the Shelby Rising City players asleep a little bit, and they just have to free ball it over. Once again, setting their offense up, BDS. They do Shelby Rising City, knocks the ball back over. It's set up for Sliva, and Sliva once again hammers it down. It was a valiant effort by Brooklyn Baker to keep that one alive, but it goes up in the rafters and then hammered down to the floor, and that's a timeout. 8-1 uh, is your score. BDS is leading over Shelby Rising City. We'll take a 30-second break, and we'll be right back. That's drive Pruning team. grain and feed, your full-service elevator, serving your grain and fertilizer needs. Also, custom blending your livestock feeds. Rooting grain and feed, where great service and quality are number one. CRC coverage is brought to you by Anderson Insurance Agency, the Physical Therapy Department at Annie Jeffrey Memorial Health Center, Aurora Cooperative, Banana Rams, Bank of Clarks, and Carlson Construction. Carlson Irrigation is in the business of solutions, and teamed with Ranky Solutions are what they deliver. Ranky, more right than rain, and Carlson Irrigation, your local irrigation solutions expert. Welcome back to the York City Auditorium for Crossroads Conference Volleyball First Round Action. Thank you to our sponsors, Nutrien Ag Solutions, Cridal Enterprises, Bruning Grocery, Lavanders of York, Chickley Grain, Bombs Burger Welding. Couldn't do it without any of them and all of our great sponsors. And thank you to you for tuning in. BDS has an 8-1 lead in the first set. Meyer back to serve once again, right down the middle. It's an overpass, and it's hammered down. They weren't able to handle the serve. Overpass, kill by Alexis Hergott. So Domeyer goes back to serve once again. This one's a little bit deeper, a little bit easier for them to handle. They set up their attack. Ruth gets the attack, but she sails it long, and so it is now 10 to 1. 10 to 1 to your score. Domeyer back to serve again. She is on quite the roll here. This one's much shorter, almost an ace. Well, it will go in the books as an ace because it was lifted by Penio. So that will be an 11-1 lead now for BDS. Domeyer serves it this time, short to the left. All right, quick thinking by Penio. Instead of putting the set up, she just pushes it over. Found the soft spot in the defense, and that is a point for the Huskies. Stop the bleeding for a while. 11 to 2 is your score. Ruth is back to serve. Tough serve. That's an ace. Kaylee Ruth is not ready to go quietly. She wants to fight back into this thing. 11 to 3 is the score. Kaylee is back to serve once again off of an ace. Ah, sadly, she hit that one into the net. We have a service error. 12 to 3 is the score. BDS is leading. Back to serve. It is Haley Sliva. Ace serve for Sliva. She is a senior. I swear she has been playing for BDS for about 17 years. <laughs> She's a great player. They're going to miss her. 13-3, uh, another timeout on the court. We'll take one, too. We'll be back in 30 seconds on Strive TV. CRC coverage is brought to you by Carlstrom Electric, Central Car Wash, Central City Veterinary Clinic, Central Valley Ag Cooperative, Clark's Ag Supply, Cedar Valley Company, Clark's LLC, and Clark's Locker. Plain talk, exceptional results. That's what you get when you partner with Norder Supply, your local full-service agronomy specialist since 1976. Norder Supply is proud to support our area athletes. Cornerstone Bank is committed to providing you game-changing solutions for your financial needs. Bank on a solid foundation. Cornerstone Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. And welcome back to the York City Auditorium. You are listening to exclusive coverage of the CRC Volleyball Tournament for 2024. I am Gene Curtis. Thank you to our sponsors, Grand Central Foods, Copes Odie, CPAs and Advisors, York General, Edgewater Insurance in Osceola, and Weaver Repair in Geneva. Couldn't do fun things like this without great sponsors like them. BDS has a 13-3 lead. Sliva goes back to serve. Another tough serve. It's picked up by Shelby Rising City. They do get the attack over, but 
BDS sends it right back to him. So they're going to try and just overpass, not overpass. Free ball, this one over. There is an attack and a kill. Kinsley Bowling, another kill down and another point for BDS. 14 to three is your score. Sliva is back to serve. Kind of floats this one, a much easier serve for them to receive. They set it up. Well, that was a nice one by Brooklyn Baker. She gets the hammer down and paints the back line with that one, and that's a point for the Huskies. 14 to four is your score. We are in the first set, remember? This first round, it is best two out of three games. So you only got to win two sets. Back to serve, it is the libero, Escobar Schaefer. Sailed that one all the way to the back line. They couldn't really get into their offense. There was a kill attempt by Schlegel, but it went into the net. That is a point for Shelby Rising City, 14 to five. And once again, your libero Escobar Schaefer back to serve. Ace. I noted in the last match that Escobar Schaefer is left-handed and her serves give the other teams Fits. I'm not exactly sure why, but I don't know if being left-handed has anything to do with it, but they have a hard time receiving her serve. All right, BDS gets it back over, and Shelby Rising City just uh, gets it back to them. And we got a little dink attempt at the net there by number nine, Alexis Hergott, but she didn't get enough dink on it, and it went into the net. A little bit of a comeback here, three in a row there by Escobar Schaefer. 14 to seven is the score. BDS leading Shelby Rising City. BDS getting into the offense. Sliver with the set, sets it up to Schlegel and Schlegel gets the double block at the net, 14 to eight. Just like that, back to serve once again on a roll. It is Escobar Schaefer. She is a 5-3 freshman. She has ice in her veins when it comes to serving. Oh, a little too much adrenaline on that one. Sailed her long. So the streak comes to an end. 15 to eight is the score back to serve. It is Kinsley Bowling. Kinsley back to serve, leading 15 to eight. First set, best two out of three. Almost an ace serve, but they were able to dig it up and free ball it over. Sliver with a quick set. That one is hammered down by Campbell Bowling. The Bowlings are putting on a kill clinic so far in this one. I believe Kinsley has four already. That's the first one for Campbell. 16 to eight. Tough servers, these BDS Eagles, but Shelby Rising City is able to get back over the net. We had a, a kill attempt there by Bowling, but it is picked up by Shelby Rising City. Bowling puts that one into the net there. Didn't quite time her jump on that one right. 16 to nine. Jordan Donner, Donner coming in to serve for the Huskies, trailing by seven, 16 to nine. First set of this match at the CRC Conference Tournament. Sliva with a back set. Just have to dink it over. The time we have Baker pushing it back over and once again, bowling. This time she took a little something off of it. It was more of an off-speed pitch than a kill, but it landed in the soft spot of the defense. The donut, the fire pit. Whatever you want to call it, there was nobody there, and it's a 17-9 lead for BDS. Back to serve. Looks like it's Lauren Cook. She gets it over. It's a free ball over to BDS. They set up their offense, and that is a kill. Campbell Bowling got the set from Sliva. Hammered it home. 18-9. Once again, Cook back to serve. Well, into the net. Service error, 18 to 10. A 
All right, back to serve for Shelby Rising City. It is Brooklyn Baker. Gets the serve over deep. Oh, ace. The Eagles thought that one was going to go long, so they both got out of its way, and it was well within the line, probably a good foot or so. 18-11 after the eight serve, ace serve by Brooklyn Baker. She gets another one up and over. That one probably would have been long, but they decided to receive that one. Block at the net, but Shelby Rising City gets the ball back over. It goes to BDS once again. Overpass. Someone was in the net. All right, that one goes to BDS. Lots of action going on here since that first initial surge by BDS. This has been a very evenly played match. Olivia Schlegel is back there to serve for the Eagles. 19 to 11 lead. Oh, we have a joust at the net. The joust was won by BDS, but Penio was able to just smack the ball up in the air and it fell over and fell inbound. She was just trying to keep the ball alive, but got a point out of it. 19 to 12. Serve by Shelby Rising City. Receipt. Sliver puts it over. Ooh. I'm thinking that that would have been out of bounds, but Svoboda decided to try and save it anyway and end up hitting it into the ground. So that could have been a point for Shelby Rising City. Ends up as one for BDS as they're the first to 20. It's now 20 to 12. Got the serve by Bowling. Ruth sends it back over. BDS setting up their offense. When they have time to set up their offense, they are tough to stop. Killed by Kinsley Bowling. If they can get in system, there's not much that anyone can do to stop them. So you got to get them out of system. Campbell Bowling is back to serve with a 21 to 12 lead. Skates that one just over the top of the net. It's received quick set in the middle, but it's picked up by Bowling. Haley Sliva danks it. Just a little tip over the net. She saw an open spot in the court and went for it and got it. 22-12 is your score. It is the first set. BDS leading Shelby Rising City. Bowling back to serve again. Campbell Bowling back on the service line. Overpass. BDS sets it back. We had a double block at the net. But it did fall out of bounds, so that is a point. Eagles, 23-12. Campbell Bowling back once again. She moves a little bit farther to the left before she fires this serve up. Good serve, received. Set to Ruth. She dinks it over. It's picked up by BDS. Back set, a block at the net by two Huskies. BDS just free balls it over. Now Shelby Rising City trying to set up their offense. Ruth with the attack. It is Doug, a great Doug there. Now BDS. Well, BDS got it over. Taya Penio was setting up the set and then she just decided to push it back over and she pushed it over in the right spot and they got a point out of it, 23-13. Shelby Rising City ain't done yet. Penio goes back. Serves it over, deep right. It's picked up by BDS, back set to Sliva. Hammers it down. And it is now set point, 24 to 13, 24 to 13. BDS leading set number one over Shelby Rising City. Had to win a three set match over Hampton earlier today to be here. Doman serves it over, or sorry, Domar. Ruth pushes it over, not really an attack, just a little attempt there. Up comes Kinsley Bowling from the back row, hammers it too far, and that is a point for Shelby Rising City. 24-14 is the score. Ruth is back to serve. That was another one of those where it looked like it was going to sail long, and then it did a little knuckleball dive, but it did fall just out of bounds, and that is the end of the first set. 
25-14, your number one seeded BDS Eagles uh, taking quick work of Shelby Rising City in set number one, but it ain't over yet. They got to win two out of three, so we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back momentarily with set number two. We are at the York City Auditorium. It is the Crossroads Conference Volleyball Tournament 2024, and we'll be right back on Strive TV. RC coverage is brought to you by Clint Hoffman with Trados, Cornerstone Bank, Cornerstone Insurance Group, Dash Farms Incorporated, Flatland Mobile Service LLC, and First State Bank. Make RC Pit Stop your convenience store in Rising City. Located right on Highway 92. For beverages, food, and gas, stop at RC Pit Stop in Rising City. Owners Insurance, the no problem people. This is Alan Odepal, Odepal Insurance at 4th and Grant in Yorktown Center. Insurance is our only business. CRC coverage is brought to you by Gavel and Grain, Hamilton Telephone Company and Mid-State Community TV, Han Service LLC, Harless Oil Company, and Harmony Daylily Farm and Nursery. Turn to a better nitrogen. Turn to Pivot Bio Proven 40. To learn more, contact your local sales representative, Walters Ag LLC in Shickley at 402-759-1831. Bye. Portville Shop Incorporated, Greg Fowler, Automotive Specialist, Carrie Joe's Catering, Quick Shop, Mr. K. Angus, Myers Insurance, and Northeast Nebraska Telephone Company. CRC coverage is brought to you by Polk County Rural Public Power District, Polk Service and Repair, Sandell Electric Incorporated, and Salt Wagner Funeral Home. Weekend Warriors Roofing is more than just a roofing company. They do siding, decks, home remodeling, and so much more. Give Weekend Warriors Roofing a call today. RC coverage is brought to you by Strobel Energy Group, Strobel Manufacturing Incorporated, The Meat Hook, Top Game Industries, and Studio G Photography by Shelly Garrett. And welcome back to the York City Auditorium. It is the first day of the 2024 Crossroads Conference Volleyball Tournament. We've had a couple of winners so far. Shelby Rising City defeated Hampton in the first game of the day in three sets. In the second match of the day, it was Nebraska Lutheran handling McCool Junction in two sets. And now Shelby Rising City has earned the right to play the number one seed, BDS Eagles. And BDS pretty much looked like the number one seed in that first set. Now, they did jump out to an early lead after the early lead. Uh, Shelby Rising City really seemed to play much better, and they played evenly with the Eagles for much of the second half of that first set, but they were just so far down by that point that it was hard for them to scratch back in. So BDS takes set number one. We're getting ready for set number two to start here momentarily. Of course, BDS is your number one seed. Shelby Rising City is your number nine seed. Coming up immediately following this game, it will then be Nebraska Lutheran, the five seed, versus High Plains, who is the four seed. That should be a very, very good match. All right, the players are back out on the court. BDS has a one set to none lead. Remember, in this first day of action, it's the best two out of three. Pennyo goes back. She is gonna start things off for Shelby Rising City hoping that they can take this set from BDS and force a set number three. So Penio back to serve, up and over and received. An attack there by Bowling. Shelby Rising City just has to free ball it over. BDS dinks it back, Shelby Rising City with the attack and the kill. Was that Baker over there? It was Baker who was able to get that one down. So Shelby Rising City with the quick lead. One to nothing, Penio is back. Serves it over, this one's off to the right side. It's picked up by BDS, they set it up to Sliva. He sails that one wide. Well, cross-court kill there from Haley Sliva that fell out of bounds. So quick, two-nothing lead. Shelby Rising City and Penio back to serve again. This one's right down the middle. Picked up by BDS. Set. Back row attack that time by Campbell Bowling. I think everybody on Shelby Rising City was expecting that set to go to Sliva, and it went to a back row to bowling and she hammered it. It's now two to one, Shelby Rising City leading in set number two. 
Campbell Bowling goes back to serve. Short middle, it's set up. Oh, goodness. It was set to Ruth, and she decided to do a little trickeration and try and push it instead of hammered it, and she just pushed it right into the net. 2-2 Two -two is your score. Campbell going back to serve. Campbell bowling, also Kingsley bowling on the team. That was a tough serve. Shelby Rising City just never could get a hold of it. Kendall Nikolai tried to get it over the net, but hit it into the net. I don't think that'll go in the record books as an ace, but it was basically an ace. They could never get a handle on it. Campbell bowling back to serve once again. This time Shelby Rising City free balls it over to BDS. Sliver basically gives it right back to herself. It was Sliver to Schlegel, and Schlegel set it quick, and Sliver hammered it right down the middle, 4-2. to two. Campbell bowling back to serve once again on a streak here. Four points in a row. Up and over. This one's just a nice little rainbow shot. She definitely caught them not looking to that for that one, and that is an ace serve for Campbell Bowling. Took a little something off of that one, arched it up, and it just kind of fell. Five to two. Bowling back to serve once again. Hammers this one more traditional like. That is an overpass. It is punched down by BDS. It was punched down by BDS. It was hit back up by Shelby Rising City. And then in an attempt to joust it back down, a BDS player was in the net. So it is 5-3. Ruth goes back to serve. Picked up by BDS. A back set to Sliva. It's picked up by the Huskies. They get their offense rolling. They push it over, and now it is back to Bowling. Kinsley Bowling with an attack picked up by Shelby Rising City. All right, we have an attack over there. I believe it was Baker, and it was partially blocked by Sliva. BDS just punches it back over. Nikolai tried to do a cross-court kill there and got too much court on the cross. Landing out of bounds, and so 6-3 to three is a score. Domeyer back to serve. Domeyer gets it right down the middle. A couple of Huskies fighting for it. A little confusion between the Huskies there, and that's going to be an ace. 7-3. Seven, 7-3, three. Seven, three. Domeyer with the serve. BDS won the first set. Trying to make quick work of the Huskies by winning the second one. 7-3 lead. Domeyer... That is also going to be an ace serve. She did that one a little bit shorter than the last one, and it was not able to be handled by Escobar Schaefer, and they ended up punching it into the net. So 8-3 is your lead. Doe Meyer back once again. This one she puts deep into the left corner. Nikolite hammers that one. BDF. You know, they had troubles with it. They were just trying to... Free ball it over to Shelby Rising City because they didn't have their offense set up and it actually scored. Nine to three is your score. Eagles leading the Huskies. Set number two will be right back with more action from the York City Auditorium. It's Crossroads Conference Volleyball on Strive TV. CRC coverage is brought to you by Polk County Rural Public Power District, Polk Service and Repair, Sandell Electric Incorporated, and Salt Wagner Funeral Home. Weekend Warriors Roofing is more than just a roofing company. They do siding, decks, home remodeling, and so much more. Give Weekend Warriors Roofing a call today. RC coverage is brought to you by Strobel Energy Group, Strobel Manufacturing Incorporated, The Meat Hook, Top Game Industries, and Studio G Photography by Shelly Garrett. We are back at the York City Auditorium. Cost Roads Conference Volleyball. First day action. We have your number one seeded BDS Eagles taking on Shelby Rising City. Shelby Rising City has already won one match today. They defeated Hampton in the first game of the day, two sets to three. Uh, of course, in this first round, all matches are two out of three. BDS has already won the first match in this one. They're leading nine to three in this one. Domeyer back to serve it up once again. That is another ace. 
I believe that is three aces in a row. If it's not three in a row, it's definitely three this time at the service line. 10 to three is your score. Doe Meyer back once again. And she doesn't just have one place that she likes to put it. And that's why it's tripping up the Huskies because she puts it all over the court. All right, we've got a free ball from BDS. They get it back to Shelby Rising City and they're just gonna have to send it back over to BDS. Nobody is able to set their offense up now. BDS does. Quick back set to Haley Sliva. Sliva hammers it down the right side line, and uh, that is a point. 11 to 3, BDS. Like I said, if BDS is given time to set their offense up, they are very difficult to stop. But both teams have been having trouble setting their offense up. Another great serve by Doe Meyer, and that's not going to make it back Ace over serve. to the Eagles. Ace serve. No fewer than four for Doe Meyer. It is 12-3, and she is back in the line. Some substitutions coming in for Shelby Rising City. Number 12, Bree Schaefer is in there now. Doe Meyer, deep middle again. Troubles with the Huskies receiving that serve, so they just free ball it over. BDS set it up and knocked it down. It was Kinsley Bowling with the kill on that one. 13 to three is your score in the second set. Doe Meyer again, back to serve on a roll. Oops, she pulls the ball down. She's thinking about it. Sends that one deep left corner, but Shelby Rising City is able to get it. We have an attack and a receive there by BDS. BDS gets it back over. Looks like it was gonna be an overpass, but Haley Sliva was there and just bing, knocked it back down to the floor at the net. 14 to three is your score, and that is a timeout. 14 to three is your score. BDS leading Shelby Rising City in set number two. We'll take a 30 second timeout and we'll be back to the York City Auditorium for the CRC Volleyball Tournament on Strive TV. Cornerstone Bank is committed to providing you game-changing solutions for your financial needs. Bank on a solid foundation. Cornerstone Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. CRC coverage is brought to you by Brick Roads Grill and Distillery, Deer Skin Construction, Concrete and Residential Construction, Little Storm Child Care, Resilient Rehab LLC, and True North Wellness and Medical. This is Craig Yurkowski with Ag West Land Brokers. I'm excited to be a part of the Ag West Land Brokers team. With over 25 years being in production agriculture, let me put my experience to work for you. And welcome back to the York City Auditorium. Thank you very much to our sponsors, Weaver Repair in Geneva, Edgewater Insurance in Osceola, York General, Copsa Odie, CPAs and Advisors, Grand Central Foods, Bombs Burger Welding, and Shickley Green. Just a few of our great sponsors. BDS is rolling in set number two, up 14 to three. Doe Meyer back to serve again. This one, she paints the line over on the right side. Shelby Rising City is able to set up their attack, but uh, it is sailed long by Brooklyn Baker, and that is another point for BDS. 15 to three is your score. We are in the second set. BDS won set number one. Remember, it's only two out of three on this first day, so if they win this set, they move on to the semifinals. Doe Meyer with another deep serve. Shelby Rising City is just having a hard time receiving her serve and they can't set up their offense. And that time they tried something out of the back row and sailed it way long. So 16-3 is your score. Doe Meyer back to serve once again. This one's a little bit shorter, a little bit easier for them to handle. Nick Light gets the attack over, but it is saved by BDS. But right there in the middle, it was Bree Schaefer. She was able to get that one way back deep where there were no Eagles waiting. So the streak is broken. Domeyer went on quite a run there, and when she leaves the service line, they have a 12-point lead, 16 to 4. Schaefer is going to go back and serve. BDS picks it up, quick set. 
It was Alexis Hergott with the attack, but it went long, and so that is a point for your Huskies. 16-5 is the score. BDS is leading set number two. Schaefer hits that one into the net. 17-5 is the score. And, oh, we got, I thought we were having a timeout, but we're just having a, a quick substitution. Escobar Schaefer comes back in. Sliva with the serve. It's picked up by the Huskies. They set up their attack, but Baker hits that one into the net. She was facing a double block in front of her, and I don't know if uh, she panicked a little bit, but she hit it right into the net. 18-5, Sliva with the serve. Shelby Rising City just getting it back over the net. Nicolite gets it over. Sliva with the set. There's a little dink. Olivia Schlegel gets that one down. The Huskies fought for it, but they couldn't keep it off the ground. 19 to five now in set number two. Sliva back to serve once again. She makes it look effortless. She puts the set up and that would be Kinsley Bowling with the kill and BDS is the first to 20 in set number two by a significant margin. It is 20 to five, Sliva back to serve once again. The Huskies trying to set something up. Oh goodness, they came close there. They came close. Oh. Apparently we had somebody touch the net or anyway. The Huskies get the point on that one. The attack went out of bounds, but they got the point and the ball, so it is now 20 to six. Donner is back to serve. We saw her earlier. She was a serving machine in that first match. Let's see if she can get some points for Shelby Rising City here. Right over the top of the net. Good receive, good set by Sliva. Net violation by Shelby Rising City. So that ball and point is gonna go back to BDS. They have a 21 to six lead. Back to serve, it is Kinsley Bowling. She has a 21 six lead. They have a one nothing lead in sets. It was a tough cross court serve there, but it is picked up. Back row attack by Ruth. Shelby, or BDS got it and they send it back over. Now Penio sets it up for Baker. Nice dig by Bowling and BDS. Who was that? That was Claire Heinrichs. Claire Heinrichs did a little cross court kill. It was a little rainbow shot, but it landed where there were no Huskies. 22 6 is your score. It is set number two. Kinsley Bowling back to serve once again. It's that one into the net. So it's now 22-7. It would be one heck of a comeback. But the Huskies aren't done yet. Back to serve, Brooklyn Baker. Into the net. One thing you don't want to do when you're facing BDS is give away points. Service error there from Brooklyn Baker. Lauren Cook is back to serve now for the Eagles with a 23 to seven lead in the second set. She hit that one into the net. 23-8 is your score. Going back to serve, it is Emma Svoboda. Got to make something happen here if they want to stay alive in the tournament. Deep middle serve. Long attack there by Campbell Bowling. It was set up by Sliva. I think their timing was just a little bit off and that one went sailing. 23 to nine is now the score. Swoboda with the serve. It's picked up by BDS. Quick set by Sliva. Hit into a double block by the Huskies and 23-10 is your score. The Huskies still have plenty of fight left in them. Swoboda with the ace serve. 
Just when you think it might be over, Shelby Rising City says, not so fast, my friend. 23 to 11 is the score, Svoboda. Another good serve, Sliva with a quick set. Hammered down by Bowling, but it's picked up by Shelby Rising City. Ruth gets it over, and uh, it is overpassed right back. And this time, Ruth hits it into the net. So now we have match point, 24 to 11. Quite a few match points here for BDS. Have some substitutions coming in. Riggins Ozenbaugh is coming in to serve. Just going to try and serve this one out and move the Eagles on to the semifinal round. 24-11, serve into the net. 24-12. A steep hill to climb for the Huskies, but they're not done. It's Penio going back to serve. Down 24-12. Match point for the Eagles. They receive, they set, they dink, and it doesn't go over. She tried to dink it over to the nets and just didn't get enough oomph on it. 24 13. So Pen Penio back once again to serve for Shelby Rising City. She gets it over. It's received. Oh, it's bumped back to the back row, and BDS just has to overpass it. Oh, that's it. BDS free balled it over. Shelby Rising City knocked it up in the air, and Sliva was right there to just slam it down. And that is game number three in the books. BDS, your number one seed, moves on, winning in two sets. They will play again Monday at 7.30 in the evening. So there you go. BDS moves on. Shelby Rising City suffers their first loss in the tournament. We're going to take another quick break, and we'll have our fourth match of the day coming up here very shortly. Number four seeded High Plains taking on number five, Nebraska Lutheran. That will be in about 15, 20 minutes right here on Strive TV. Cornerstone Bank is committed to providing you game-changing solutions for your financial needs. Bank on a solid foundation. Cornerstone Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. CRC coverage is brought to you by Brick Roads Grill and Distillery, Deer Skin Construction, Concrete and Residential Construction, Little Storm Child Care, Resilient Rehab LLC, and True North Wellness and Medical. This is Craig Yurkowski with Ag West Land Brokers. I'm excited to be a part of the Ag West Land Brokers team. With over 25 years being in production agriculture, let me put my experience to work for you. 